What's it up, blood box? <laughs> Mr. Good morning, good morning. Mr. Vinic says he's gonna go get me an oblong box. What's an oblong box? An oblong. Okay. I, I, I haven't seen any oblong boxes. It's flat. Oblong. What's that then? Where from? Now, have you bought the right one first? Or have they been set a two? <laughs> so these ones are thanks to Bill. Thank you, my Bill. I have wanted to own these for a very, very long time. Very long time. It is quite heavy because it is very thick what's inside it. It's not for my birds. It's for me. Oh, I love doing that. That is like the best thing in the world. And you bought the wrong one. <laughs> you should have been the other one first. <laughs> do you want me to open this one or do you want to get the other one first? Other one first. Oh, clean. I, 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 I think the other one's first. <laughs> I think. I'm, only, I'm not 100% sure if the other one's first. It's not as if I'm going to... I can have that one. I can have that one. It's fine. It's fine. It's just the second in the series, not the first in the series. <laughs> I can have that one if you want and not undo the I will undo the other one tomorrow. Are you sure? I don't mind. I don't I don't mind. I'm I'm reading something else first. I don't mind. Don't mind. I don't mind. I I need it back. I I need it back. Okay, you bring me the other one. I hope it is this first one now, you know just bought me something different. Where is it? Okay. So I get to do the satisfying thing twice in one day. Awesome. Oh no. This one isn't ripping properly. There we go. Ah! It's not ripped properly. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what it is, do you? You don't know what it is. I do. <sighs> yeah, of course it's a book. I wouldn't be swooning this much over something else, would I? The Outlander books. <laughs> now, yeah, it, it, this is the first one. The, I've got the other one out there. They are, are not cheap. These Outlander books, pardon. Even from Amazon, they're not cheap. But look, <sighs> okay. How much was it? I think it was like eight pound. Compared to my Kindle ones, which are a pound. But I needed it in paperback. And there, there, there was no point in buying it in Kindle. I needed it in paperback. So I uh, smacked one over the end of it. <laughs> but I right, I don't know if you know this, but I talk quite a lot about it, so I'm hoping you do. I watch Outlander on Amazon Prime. I just finished watching season seven, I think. Yes. So I rewatch it as well. <laughs> if I need to watch something, I don't go to anything else. I rewatch Outlander. Well, it's based on a book. Yes. So this is the first one in a one, two, three, four, five, six book series. So I've got one and two. I need the other four now to complete the series. Okay. So this one is called Outlander because it's the original one. So I'm going to read you the blurb from the back. They are by a author called Diana Gabaldon. Yes. And obviously she's helped the creators of the TV show. Because obviously it's not... Everything in a book can't be put on the TV. It never happens. And of course they embellish as well on certain things. And they add things in to make it a good TV show. So this is why I wanted the book. Because then you can read the true story of it. What, how she perceived it. She's been on set and helping throughout the seasons and things like that, which I think is amazing that an author can have such a massive TV show made from her book. Don't you? I, I really do. It's a bit like Twilight, isn't it? In one sense, if you can link the two together, but you can't because they're completely different. But yeah, right. So 
The first novel in the best-selling Outlander series, What If Your Future Was The Past? It's not like Back to the Future in the slightest. So 1946, Claire Randall goes to the Scottish Highlands with her husband Frank. It's a second honeymoon, a chance to learn how war has changed them and to re-establish their loving marriage. But one afternoon, Claire walks through a circle of standing stones and vanishes into 1743. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Where the first person she meets is a British army officer. Her husband's six times great-grandfather. It gets confusing. Unfortunately, Black Jack Randall is not the man his descendant is. And while trying to escape him, Claire falls into the hands of a gang of Scottish outlaws and finds herself a Sassanac, an outlander in danger from both Jacobites and Redcoats. Marooned amid danger, passion and violence, her only chance of safety lies in Jamie Fraser, a gallant young Scots warrior. What begins in compulsion becomes urgent need and Claire finds herself torn between two very different men in two irreconcilable lives. Dun, dun, dun! It's freaking amazing. <laughs> I love the TV show. I really do. And the best thing about it, my mum started watching it before I did. <laughs> she got me into it. But I, I got the book now. Some of it is in... I'm presuming some of it will be in Scottish. A squat figure in leather breeks and rough shirt, the master of horse had an air of authority sufficient. I thought to quell the most recalculatrant stallion, an art like Mars to threaten or command. The quotation sprang at once to mind. A single eye it was, the other being covered with a black cloth patch, as if to make up for the loss. His eyebrows sprouted profusely from a central point, sporting long grey hairs like insects and tan eye that weaved threateningly from the basic brown tufts. It's very good. I'm looking forward to reading it though. I am. Because when you've watched a TV show or a film and then you read the book, the characters in it are the ones off the TV show. So it's like when I'm reading a book, I'm playing the storyline in my head. So it's like when I read uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, I read the book before I saw the film. So it's like you get you get a, um, a vision of who Christian Grey should have been or Anna, Anna Steele should have been. And when they actually cast them, you're like, not what I would have picked, but yeah, just as good. Yeah, so you get it like that. Whereas with Twilight, I didn't read any of the books up until Breaking Dawn. I watched Twilight, New Moon and la, 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 Eclipse on film version. I do have them in book, but I've not read them. And then I read Breaking Dawn part one because the film hadn't come out so when i was reading breaking dawn part one i was playing the character the characters in my head with the ones off the films so it was better for me so this one i will have jamie fraser in my head all the time and when it says sassanac i'll be hearing him saying sassanac <laughs> something about a scottish man saying sassanac is just amazing <laughs> it really is <laughs> my friend's husband's call is scottish and i get him to say sassanac quite often <laughs> How bad is that? <laughs> Need to learn Scottish, Mr. Medusa. <laughs> or at least the accent. But yes, I'm looking forward to that. I'm reading one at the moment, Captivated by You by Sylvia Day. So I've got to read that first before I start reading these. But in the book box that Mr. Medusa took away was the second second one of it. The Dragonfly in Amber. The second one is. And then the third one is called Voyager. And then the fourth one is Drums of Autumn. Fifth one is The Fiery Cross. And the sixth one is A Breath of Snow and Ashes. So I'm hoping a seventh one will be out soon because they've just done the seventh series. How can they have done the seventh series if the seventh book's not out yet? It's a bit like Games of Thrones, isn't it? They did all the seasons of the Games of the Thrones book, or at least most of it was off the book. He hasn't got round to writing the ending yet of Games of Thrones, the author who did it. But... Games of Thrones producers wrote the ending for him in the TV series. So when he comes to write the book, or at least finish the book, he could have a completely different concept of how Games of Thrones should have finished. That is going to be like a wine more. I would just buy that last book of Games of Thrones. I wouldn't even buy all the other books. I'd just buy the last one to see how he thought it should have ended. Put it? I don't know. I doubt if they'll remake it again. I don't think they will. 
yeah they may do a, a finale part two but yeah it just that will that's a complete mind warp that is the author of the books that the that the tv series was based on hasn't wrote the ending but it's finished that, that's just a complete mind warp it is but yeah back back to outlander <laughs> So I bought this from Amazon, thanks to my lovely Bill, of course, because you're amazing. I know I've already thanked you at the beginning, but I always like to thank you, my angel. Oh, that was for that one, was it? <laughs> well, you bought both books, so thank you very much, Bill. Anything from Amazon, my amazing Bill buys for me. He is a sweetheart. But yes, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be hard reading, though, because there's a lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of big words in it. So it should be interesting. So it says here, Randall. I couldn't keep the shock from my voice. Cold blue eyes fixed suddenly on mine. Oh, did I tell you the sex scenes in Outlander as well? <laughs> Scottish men. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going <laughs> before I start salivating. <laughs> Don't forget to like it for me, guys. Subscribe to my amazing YouTube channels. Then pop back and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube are unsubscribing my subscribers. Make sure you click on notifications as well if you want to be notified of when I upload my videos. I try and upload daily if I can. If not, it's more or less every two days. But we've got that many videos that we've made and Miss Producer hasn't bothered doing yet that we've got plenty to keep us going daily. Don't worry about that one. Then, if you feel like you've not been notified but know that I upload daily, type my name in the search bar, then click this week, this month, whatever, and all the videos will pop up. They will. Or you'll get a list, so happy watching on there, from all the different channels. Yes. And then on my social media, Twitter and Instagram is at Adelsex UK. Facebook is at Officially Adelsex UK. And then, of course, we have my OnlyFans. Now, YouTube does not endorse me, does not sponsor me, does not monetize me at all. But OnlyFans do. So if you want to come and support me, Head on over to my OnlyFans. We have the freebie one for you to get started with. We have the $10 one for you to see all past Patreon videos. And then, of course, we have the really naughty one. Yes. All the links are on my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I will see you all soon. And remember, I love you all. Be safe, be kind, be loved. See you soon.